notice that I have like auto completion. There's no red squiggly saying that it doesn't recognize Dino. That when I do like uh, Dino dot and then a function, it has auto completion and it shows like the peaking of the definition. These are all features that a language server provides you when you add it to the IDE or text editor that you're using. We're using Visual Studio Code, so that is how I'm gonna show you how to install Dino's language server. So what's interesting is Dino's executable actually has an LSP command. So the Dino CLI has an LSP command and that is actually the language server's, um, I think that stands for language server protocol, but the language server for Dino is actually installed with the Dino executable that we set up in the prior lesson. So for Visual Studio Code, and I'm assuming all other IDs and text editors, we actually need to install the Dino extension, and that extension acts as a client for the IDE to be able to interact with the Dino language server to provide auto completion and things like that. So I'm installing that right now, and now let's set up our settings. So you'll notice in Visual Studio Code, you'll have all of these settings. Uh, you have user settings and workspace settings. Workspace settings are for a specific workspace. User settings are more general, so they're the settings defined by a user across multiple workspaces. Um, so what we're actually going to do, though, is in Visual Studio Code, you can create this special folder called .vs Code that you see. And we're going to define our settings there so it's easier for you guys to visualize. But the settings and the extension settings tab that we just saw is actually just a user interface for the JSON settings we're going to define. So if you guys want to copy these Dino uh, language server client extension settings that I've defined verbatim, um, you should be able to. The only exception being the Dino path. That Dino path references the path to the executable, the Dino executable that we installed in the prior video. Um, if you're on Linux or Mac and you use Brew, then you should be good. Otherwise, I'd run something like which Dino, check the path where your Dino executable is installed, and um, and then copy that path, and that's what you want to set the value of your Dino path setting for, and then your Dino extension settings should be good, and la la. And again, those Dino JSON settings are just the, the JSON settings for that settings user interface. The true test is does the Dino um, object within mod.ts have a red squiggly under it or not? Um, and you know the Dino language server is installed if there is no red squiggly because it can find Dino without needing to import it, thus the Dino language server works.